गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द क्लॉज नंबर सिक्स प्लानिंग ऑलरेडी वी हैव कंप्लीटेड यस्टरडे रिस्क एक्शन टू एड्रेस रिस्क एंड अपॉर्चुनिटी एंड हजार आइडेंटिफिकेशन एंड असिसमेंट ऑफ रिस्क एंड अपॉर्चुनिटी वी हैव फिनिश दैट यस्टरडे सो गाइज टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द about the determination of legal requirements and others requirements at our workplace uh, so guys determinations of legal requirement first we think what is legal requirement at our workplace uh, workplace and others requirement at workplace you know that as per our factory act bocw act Uh, BOCW rule, Central's rule, that all are a legal requirement and also included in ISO 45001-2080. ILO also defined the some legal requirement at our workplace if you are going to work at any industry and any construction organization. Suppose that you are take a take a action. Action and address to hazards and identification risk assessment, but but legal requirement need to be determ determinations at workplace. Like you have a you have working four hundred workers, the need to be you know a labor license. Labor license is very important. This is a legal requirement at your workplace. If you are not following this this. uh these uh, requirements that may be that may be a legal consequences with your organization so deter determinations of legal requirement if you are going to work uh are you you are going to work and use of rmc plant you know that there is air pollution and the dust generations and also impact the newborns newborns society like local community then you have to plan the check check air noise air pollution test and noise test reports to be uh, keep in file for any e government body may be asked to you who the legal legal requirements and uh, uh, the, uh, it is also considered in environment protection act 90 uh, 1986 i think uh, so did all are consider during the work in your workplace each legal requirement should be comply within the limit periods and also a record should be there suppose that one example again share with you we if you are going to work electricity work then what will be need if you are a uh, deploy you you have deploy electricians then need to be certified and licensed licenses electrical person should be he should be he deploy at workplace because they are requirement of electricity act 90 1956 i think the so guys are rules number 9 2013 rules that all are considers about the legal requirements and other requirements at your clause so this clause also also address the determination of legal and legal requirements and others requirement at workplace workplace next 6.1.4 planning planning action if you have do the plan then how to action action need planning actions means if you are going to work any activity you have to plan but how to action action to achieve your planning so guys this clause also address that planning and action if you have a plans more and more but you have not taking action that what will need to plan so guys if you are going to start, if you are going to plan need to be action about the planning so some example share with you if you are going to start a some uh, some activity like settling work if you are going to start settling work you have to plan and procedures 
you have everything uh, available in your workplace but you are not taking action then what will we need how to to prepare the planning so planning with action is very important in this clause also address that planning and actions need to be follow and uh, uh, follow and take actions against so planning after that OHS objective planning to achieve this clause also 6.2 OHS objectives, uh, ob objectives and planning to achieve them. If you are, if you are working in industry, then you have to plan, submit the clients, submit the uh, clients and submit the your HR department because of this, these are a very important topic, uh, topic uh, considered about the uh, about the any organization HR department sent to you. We have to plan environment environment management system please send the environment uh, environment action plans what is your objective because of if you are not find out the objective then how can achieve them suppose that we are going to as a safety professional this is we have a plan we have conduct 1000 stool for stock we have conducted we will be conducted at 13 trainings related the OHS management system we have to plan we have to plan we are going to conduct 100% PPE PPE used by all workers at workplace we have to plan we we have to minimize the water wastage at, at our construction project we have to plan on electricity minimize at our workplace we have to plan uh, plan the waste generations minimize the waste generation or how to de decompose it biomedical waste all thing all we are going to do planning uh, planning then if you are not if you have not planned then how can achieve them so first is objective set a objectives like three months monthly basis three month basis and yearly basis make a plannings and address to how to achieve them if you are if you have a plan we have conducted more than uh, more than uh, more than 900 people should be conducted in our tvt then you have how to achieve them but there is responsibility should be deployed to all others employ and all other subordinate and inform to all of all workers as comes comes in toolbox talk and attend the toolbox talk then we can achieve them so, so they call if you have a plan then need to be addressed to and add information pass out to, to all person then we can uh, achieve uh, our plans as per set as per set by our teams so of planning objective and planning achieve them how to achieve them there is considered this clause also also address the planning and how to achieve them after that OHS objectives we have OHS what will be OHS objectives objectives will be same if you are related the occupational health safety zero zero incident zero harm policy no near miss first aid cases no no accidents at our side no any legal legal uh, consequences at our our side uh, water waste minimize the water wastage minimize the um, minimize the injury minimize and address the risk risk ill health all these are we have to plan that uh, and this is this was our objective to implement at our workplace so that this is part of planning and set a objective by management and our your team and how can how can achieve them that set a target and continuous improvement our planning how to achieve them after that planning achieve OH, achieves OHS objective second thing there we have to plan then need to be addressed need to be make a proper uh, proper achievements planning suppose that we are we are also follow that we have a set plan before one month before one month we have to minimize the 
uh, water wastage then how to minimize the water wastage we have to need need to monitor that no water wastage and uh, with tap if you are, have provided the drinking water then need to be check the water tap uh, a proper seal close and after that you are going to curing then we can plant the compounds uh, chemical compounds for waterproofing uh, for um, water base so we have to minimize the water wastage if you are going to generate dust at workplace then you have to provide water sprinkling instead of opacity in market you can you can use of some chemicals and we can control of uh, control, we can and control of dust at our construction project so that all all are considered in your plan and how to achieve them then also address in this clauses clauses uh, so guys this is a very important to planning planning and achievement at our workplace you know that there is a very <laughs> very le maybe legal consequences happen at your workplace if you are not considered about the le legal and planning also also company will uh, uh, most effective if to achieve the planning is small budgets uh, how to budget uh, uh, budget budget controls minimize the environment minimize the others committee members how to oh, disturbance like you are going to work in night there is also how oh, community members local society will be dist uh, disturbance and frustrations with your work then how to oh, make a plans a plan to achieve and what will we do if you are going to work uh, night uh, at night midnight then you can stop the we have to stop that uh, before 9 9 pm 10 pm because if you are going to start company that may be chance of local community members complaints and also government body will be come to your workplace uh, so guys planning planning and achievement planning to achievement this is a uh, this is an important topic if you are going to you have to know that what will be planned and how will uh, what will be requirement at uh, required the planning to plan to be achieved what will be required to resources after that who will be who will responsible for achieve that plans after that if you are if you are going to achieve that plans then then need to be considered when will be completed if when will be completed that your plans after that evaluate the evaluate the ohs objectives and what will be evaluate and how negative and positively what is there is difference between you have plan plan and we cannot conduct uh, we cannot achieve that there is evaluate or planning so guys that that may be considered that may be a proceed and go ahead the uh, take your ob objective so if you are working a safety professional so also i am a safety professional then i have uh, we have a plans regarding the regarding the our related ohs objectives related the occupational health safety management system related the objective we have already already identified identify this and what will be resources need to be deployed if you are going to conduct a toolbox talk this is my uh, this is uh, my target we have completed 30 hs training means one month targeted 30 related the occupational health safety trainings awareness given to workers then what will be resources to be need first will be needs time second thing will be needs uh, workers who who will be participation and involvement in our training after that staffs who will uh, restaff resources means restaff should be come so who uh, these uh, who are engaged to work with workers so that all our resources need some uh, resources need tv projectors times also this is requirement what will be required to resources then we can uh, we can provide it uh, they have to provide it organization also consider and they have to provide it to who resources after that and who will conduct it 
and who will responsible for that achievement suppose that responsible persons will be there safety manager safety officer engineers that can target to achievement of 30 hsc trainings after that after that what will be completed completed means we have to need a plans one month and every day one training should be conducted then we can the achieve the target date and after that you, you have to complete a target then what will be e what will be e achievement at your workplace that evaluate the trainings uh, if you are going to if you have a plan to 30 e trainings then what will be you have to who achieve so evaluation is very important to then you can again continue the our your work work plans so thanks guys